makes you feel like the main character in a movie. Did anybody remember that or am I really dating myself? Such a weird, proud moment. Poisonous! <laughs> All the cozy vibes. Purely because of the cover. College Cassie would be very pleased. YouTubers, I'm Cassandra Joy and welcome to my channel. As you can see, I'm in the middle of packing all of my laptop tech stuff, <laughs> earphones, cords, all the things, because I'm heading out to the coffee shop to work on editing my book. This spring and summer, I've decided my goal and my only goal, apart from looking for jobs, <laughs> but that's boring, we don't want to talk about that. My main creative goal is to get the editing of my book done and sent off to someone, an agent, by the end of the summer. That's my goal. That's what I want to stick to. Whether I'm able to meet that goal is a whole nother matter, but I'd like to pursue it as if I will. If you guys didn't know, I'm an unpublished author. <laughs> I've written so many things. I've what is going on? I've written stories since I was oh, so little and I've come across some of those old stories and as wholesome and sweet as they are, they're also very cringe and will never see the light of day unless they are completely rewritten. <laughs> but this book has been something I've had in my back pocket and in my mind and on my heart for over a decade. That was when I first created it, and it has gone through a major literary overhaul since, but it's still something that I fully believe needs to be out in the world. It's a great story, and I think people will love it, but it's never gonna happen if I don't get finished editing it. So that's where my summer goal comes in. I thought, since it's such a beautiful day, the sun's out, the temperature's gorgeous, that I would take you along. So I decided to go for a neutral outfit today. I've been wearing so much color that it felt good to put on a black shirt again. <laughs> Goodness, why are you tangled over here? Black is not my favorite color to wear, but it is the one that makes me feel the most confident. And even though I'm single and don't have a significant other, I've just kind of decided to dress as if I do. To dress in a way that makes me feel confident, which kind of sounds like a, well, duh, <laughs> statement. Of course you should dress in a way that makes you feel confident. I'm also trying to dress as if I'm going out on a date with someone. If I were going on a date, I would take time getting myself ready, making myself feel pretty, and I don't want to wait until I have a date to do that on the regular. I want to get dolled up and feel good in what I'm wearing while I'm single. So I decided to dress up a little bit. The camera shut off for a weird second, don't know why. Apparently that's my cue to stop talking. <laughs> Grab my laptop, cords, earphones, phone charger, that's what I'm missing. <laughs> So I'm wearing this really floaty shirt that has a bit of a teardrop opening here in the front. I've got this three-tiered necklace, I think I got it from Charming Charlie. I have a love-hate relationship with this necklace because it looks really pretty, but it tangles up until it's all the way up to choker level and it's not cute at that point. But when it lays nice, I really like it. I'd like to find a more higher quality version of this, but for now this does the job. Got a jean jacket on because it does get kind of cold in the coffee shop that I'm going to. Brought this just in case. Got my favorite denim ripped jeans on. Eddie Bauer flip flops, so comfortable. And can I show you? There we go. I've got a little scrunchy ribbon in the back for a little added flair. I don't know, I just think it makes boring hairstyles look that much prettier and definitely more feminine, which I always love going for. My lipstick is ColourPop, I believe in the color Scenic Root. It's just the perfect summery pink. And then of course I'm wearing my Michael Kors purse that I got from ThreadUp. Still loving it, haven't taken it off since I got it. It's just the perfect size to fit everything and I really like the pop of color. Just makes my outfit instantly summery. that I've recently discovered. The first one is called Wicked Game by Jessie Villa. I love her rendition of this. It's acoustic, folky, and just so hauntingly beautiful. 
love it. I've been writing and editing to this song a lot. The next one is called Solas by Jamie Duffy. This, how do I describe this song? It's a piano score, but it makes you feel like the main character in a movie. Like if you want a confidence boost and you're walking around, whether it's in the grocery store or out on a walk in nature, you play this song, you will feel like the main character in a cinematic movie. It's just so beautiful and it hypes you up. I don't know, it hypes me up, highly recommend. I'm gonna be listening to those songs while I drive to the coffee shop. 2 a.m. in the car playing our favorite song. it up, windows down, we sing along. Hopefully you guys can see me, I don't know if the lighting is weird, but a couple vlogs ago I did a little singing segment just to kind of explain how a certain song sounded, and a lot of you commented that you didn't know I could sing, which is hilarious because that's actually what my channel used to be. It used to be a music channel. My handle used to be Cast Joy Music until I changed it to Cast Joy Official because my channel wasn't about that anymore. I still do music and I still love music. That's still a very ever-present part of my life, but it's not something I actively produce anymore. But yes, I've been singing since I can talk. Let me know in the comments if you'd like me to share some songs that I've written lately. I have a whole EP available on iTunes. I will say I sound a lot younger and my voice does sound different as far as style. I sing very differently now than I did in my youth. <laughs> as you do, you change, you grow. But just bear that in mind if you go searching the dregs of iTunes to find my stuff. I said this on my friend Allie's video. We did a fireside chat on her channel talking about YouTube and how we both got started and how YouTube became a thing in our lives. I chatted a little bit about how I was in an artist development program which basically prepares you for being the next Keith Urban or Taylor Swift or whoever you want to be. It doesn't have to be country, by the way. Those are just the first people that popped into my head. I wanted to be the next Taylor Swift. And actually, my writing was compared to hers. She's the one that got me started writing songs in the first place. And that was the thing I was most praised for. Not necessarily my voice, but my writing. Fun little factoid, if you want to hear more, go check out my friend Allie's channel and look up that fireside chat. But let me know in the comments, do you want me to incorporate music here and there? I would love that. My TikTok is actually mostly music. I am trying to take back my music on my TikTok. I wanted TikTok to be a little bit different than the other content I make, so I decided to make it about music. And I do have a few songs that I've written lately, so if you'd like to hear them, let me know. And I'll either post them here or more likely on TikTok. Just wanted to address that. <laughs> For those of you who didn't know, I do music. May you always find your way to higher ground. So the last time I was here with a friend, I didn't vlog it, but there was a slight issue with some bees. Apparently their nest had gotten knocked over somehow and they were angry. I've never seen a swarm of bees except in movies and most of the time those are CGI bees, not real ones. These were real and they were very close to the coffee shop I'm going to right now. <laughs> so let's hope that they are no longer there. It's been a few weeks. I think I've mentioned that Bugs and I are not friends. We never have been. We never will be. Particularly things that can bite or sting. Bees being part of that category. Especially angry bees. Definitely part of that category. So let's hope that they're gone and I can have a nice peaceful time at a cute coffee shop. Ordering a cup of milk Feel it rising up and above You will always keep my heart and soul strong Plant your seeds and watch them grow The light will always know where to go You will always keep my heart and soul strong You're the first thing in the morning and the last Baby, you're my future and you are my past Pretty little thing You're a diamond in the rough Shining from within I can tell that you're tough 
ordering a cup of love feel it rising up and above you will always keep my heart and soul strong plant your seeds and watch them grow the light will always know where to go you will always keep my heart and soul It's many hours later, and I did quite a lot of work on my editing. I got a lot done, went through a few chapters, still have more to do, but chipping away a little bit at a time. I'm pretty happy with the progress I made. Again, it wasn't as much as I'd like, but there are only so many hours in the day. That's why I'm really making this an all summer goal. Any day I have available, I'm either going to a coffee shop to work or working from home. Although I do work way better at a coffee shop than I do at home. <laughs> oh, I was zoomed in, not sure why. I closed down the place. <laughs> they close at six, which is so early. They used to close at eight, and they don't do that anymore, which is so sad because I would work until they closed. But since everything happened with COVID, stores have changed their hours and changed them permanently, which is such a bummer. Oh, that person did not park straight. <laughs> Anyway, I don't even know if you can see me, but I'm gonna turn this off and go home and probably work some more. Okay, small pit stop. I grabbed some things for my lunches for the next few days for work, and I happened to see a really weird item that I had to try. And I figured I would try it with you. So this is dark chocolate honeycomb. I've heard honeycomb is great for you and dark chocolate is great for you. So I feel like there's no downside, but I've never had a honeycomb. So this will be interesting. Wow, they're big pieces. We're gonna try it and see how it tastes. That's delicious. I was expecting a legit honeycomb. I don't know why. I assume this is made from honeycomb. I can definitely taste the honey. The texture inside is like a Whopper candy. That's the texture, but it doesn't taste like a Whopper. You can definitely identify the honey and the dark chocolate, obviously. I'm gonna definitely enjoy that for dessert tomorrow. Mm. As I'm working the next couple days, I'm not gonna be filming. That's just too chaotic and impossible. So I'll leave the vlog here for now, and I will see you in a couple days. Hi guys, today is not a vlogging day. I actually just got home from work, but it's supposed to rain all day tomorrow and it only just stopped raining today. And I wanted to pick my strawberries before it starts raining again. Where are you? There's one. Okay, so apparently this is ready. There's one, there, and then there were a couple more. Where'd they go? Here, here's another one. Ah, come here. This one, did I wait too long to pick it? I can't tell. I think it's ready. Ah, oh, there we go. I see some more, but they're not red and definitely not ready, so we'll leave them be. Thank you to a viewer named Christy. She actually went to college with me and she is one of my lovely viewers and she told me, because she's way smarter than I am, that these strawberries were ready. And to pick them before the bugs got to them, so <laughs> I thought I would do it as soon as I got home from work. Look, three little strawberries that I grew myself. Such a weird, proud moment. <laughs> I'm gonna go eat these now. There were three of them, so I gave one to my mom and one to my dad. They both say it tasted really good, so I have one for myself. Let's see how it tastes. I'm nervous. Poisonous. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's not a Snow White apple. <laughs> it's a strawberry. It's very different. Oh, she took a bite. <laughs> oh, wow. That's so juicy. Oh, yeah, way better than grocery store strawberries. <laughs> mm -hmm. Farmer Cassie. Farmer Cassie. <laughs> Can I have that made to a t-shirt? <laughs> <laughs> and just the family will wear it? Mm. Out of support? No. <laughs> no. Yum! Approved by all.
<laughs> I'll move this out of the way so you can actually see me. I'm just replacing my candle. I got this one at the dollar store and it smelled good in store, not so much when I lit it. I really tried to give it a good try, went through half of it. I just don't like it anymore. So, trading it out for pumpkin pecan waffles from Bath and Body Works. I have to duck down because you're a little low. <laughs> it's a very rainy day today. No sun to be seen, although there should be sun tomorrow, which I'm very excited about. I have something planned for a different vlog when the sun's out. But today, I want to have all the cozy vibes, light a candle, turn on all my low, warm lights. <laughs> I just tried to put the lid on this. Oh my word, can you tell I haven't had enough coffee today? I've been taking the morning slow, definitely feel a little more blue when the sun's not out. It's so crazy to me how much my mood is dependent on the weather, and it's spring, so that means a lot of showers and not a whole lot of sun. But I have been making the most of the morning. I did my makeup, got myself ready for the day, I'm doing laundry. I have an appointment at one, but after that, the plan is to make the most of this gray, cozy day and go to two places. The first is my local library. Library. If you remember in the vlog where I went with Nicole to One Dollar Book Swap, I went with my book list of things I wanted to buy and couldn't find anything on that list, which I'm still kind of bummed about. So I thought I would go to the library and see if I could find some of the books that I'm not sure if I'll like or not and try to rent them, whether it's a physical book or an audiobook, preferably an audiobook. And if I can't find anything there, I thought I would take you to a bookstore that I've taken you to a million times. It's discounted pricing, pre-loved books, and you never really know what you're going to find. You're not guaranteed to find anything. It's not like a Barnes and Noble where you can find all of the new and cool books <laughs> books that are out. So I thought I would go to those two places. It just felt like the perfect plan for a day like this. Something about gray clouds and book shopping just feel like they go together really well. So that's the plan for today. And then if I have time after a book shop, I want to go hole up in a coffee shop for a few hours and work on my book. Like I said in a previous vlog, that's my summer plan. <laughs> I have other things sprinkled around here and there, but the main goal of the summer is to get my book edited. So prepare yourselves for all of the coffee montages, all of the cute, atmospheric, cozy places to hole up in and drink caffeine, because that's going to be my entire summer. I will try not to make it boring or repetitive, but just so you're aware, that's my summer plan. By the end of summer, I want to get my book into the hands of someone who can put it on a bookshelf. So I want to make sure I prioritize that today. I'm apparently matching my clothing with <laughs> the mood of the day. Black clothing, long jeans. Ooh, and I need to put some lipstick on at some point. But that's the plan for today. Hope you guys are into it and I will obviously be taking you along. my shirt and I want to add a layer on top. I don't know what to add though. Should I add a button up flannel or an actual jacket? Or I could wear this, which is long sleeve. Still neutral so I'd go with my purse. Yeah, I'll change into this and then I won't need a jacket. This will just be a one layer situation. All right, I think I'm ready to go some lipstick on in the car and I'm not even gonna worry about my hair because it's just gonna inevitably get wet anyway. Look, look how bad they are. But it's a little too chilly for flip flops. The sun's trying to peek out and I can't help but feel that might be a god thing. 
because I've been feeling a little low with all this gray weather and praying a lot about it. And the sun came out for a second. I know some of you call them God winks and I've never heard that term before, but I think it's appropriate. It's just kind of like, I, I don't know, I just imagine God tapping me on the shoulder being like, hey kid, you're fine. I've got you covered. It's all gonna be okay, because I'm in control. And I just think that's really cool when those moments happen. It's lipstick on, now I feel more alive. <laughs> I'm gonna go to the library first and see if I can get any of the books on my list checked off in physical book form or audio book form. And if I don't find much there, I wanna go to my local bookstore. I think I told you all this. Yeah, I already told you this. <laughs> Never mind. It is 100% necessary to go get a coffee and sip our way through some bookshelves. I know this isn't technically thrifting, but if I go to a discount bookstore, to me that's thrifting. So we're gonna call it a sip and thrift, just book themed. Also, I know that I've been doing a lot of book content that's not on purpose. It's just kind of been my joy lately. So if any of you are confused or worried that this is becoming a 100% book channel, that is not the case. <laughs> Books will always be a part of my life, therefore will just through osmosis show in my videos every now and then. During the summer, I think it'll be more. Books are just kind of the air I'm breathing right now. Hopefully you guys are cool with that. I know there is an entire book community of people on YouTube, and if y'all wanna come join, the fun, I would be fine with that. I'm a book girl at heart. I was the kid that would grab 20 books at a time from the library and read them all in a week. It's been a very long time since I've read that many books in one sitting. However, the joy of reading is still there and has never gone away. So to those of you who are excited about watching this writing journey, to those of you who are liking the book content, thank you for leaning into the things that I'm liking right now. Nothing makes me happier than having a community of people who like the same things you do. It just makes for a really fun community of online friends and that makes me happy, so thank you. Let's go get some coffee and then head to the library. Hi, can I please have a large iced mocha latte made with oat milk and honey, please? So I'm at the library and I have my book list on my phone. Basically all I do is screenshot books that sound cool and I want to look into more. And the ones that I think I'd like to add to my list, I add to an album in my photos. <laughs> There's probably a far better, more organized way of doing this, but this is my method. Plus you get the visual of the cover so that you can recognize it easier. I thought I would list off a few books that I want to go in and find. One is called A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab. I guess they, I uh, don't know if it's he or she, have written other books that people are raving about, and this is a series that a lot of people seem to be loving, so I'd like to check that out on audiobook if they have it. One I'd like to get a physical copy of is called Darling Girl by Liz Mikalski. That sounds great because apparently Peter is the villain, and I've never read a Peter Pan book that has Peter as the villain before. And I was intrigued, so I wanna look for that. I've heard rave reviews, but know nothing about The Book of Lost Things by John Connolly. This would be a book that I would be going in completely blind. I don't know the plot, I don't know the characters, I know nothing. Uh, I didn't even know the author's name until just now, but a couple people I follow on Instagram who are into books and love reading have highly recommended this, so I wanna see if they have that as well. I'm on the fence about The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue because it sounds really sad. Oh, that's V.E. Schwab. That's the other book that they've written. I don't know if it's a sad ending, but it just sounds from the title like it might be sad, and I can't handle a sad book right now. So that might be a maybe, we'll see. And then there's a book that looks really sweet called All This Time by Mickey Daughtry and Rachel Lippincott. Oh, it's by the best-selling authors of Five Feet Apart. I saw they were making a movie about that. I never read the book, but the movie looked great. I think it had Cole Sprouse from Zack and Cody, <laughs> Disney. <laughs> Anybody remember that or am I really dating myself? I think those are the main books I want to look at and we'll see if they have them, particularly an audiobook, and see what we come away with. 
I think I might leave my coffee in here because it runs in my mind that you're not allowed to bring food or drink into the library. So I might have to save the sipping until we get to the bookstore. I did find a few things at the library, not everything, but a few things, something to get me started. I found the one I was hoping to find most, A Darker Shade of Magic. They didn't have the audio version, but the physical version will do. And they did have the other books in the series, so when I finish this, I at least know they have the rest. I wasn't going to get this one, but since it was right next to A Darker Shade of Magic, I figured I would get The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. We'll see. I hope this is not... <laughs> A sad book because I just can't handle it. If it's too sad, I'll put it down. I don't feel guilty about not finishing books. If it doesn't speak to me, I can always pick it up another time when I'm in a better headspace or I'm in the mood for it. But I've heard a lot of good things, so I figured eh, I'll pick it up. <laughs> and then this one, I kind of picked up purely because of the cover Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. I've never read it and I've heard good things about it. The book is gorgeous. So inside, every so often, there are illustrations like watercolor flowers and florals and butterflies printed throughout like that. At the end of chapters, they have them in the corners. They're just gorgeous. So if I don't end up reading this, I might just buy my own version of this because the cover is gorgeous. I mean, look at that. Look how gorgeous. I would put this on my coffee table, to be perfectly honest with you. But I figured it's one of those books you just have to read once, right? So I figured if I have time, I'll read that. And if not, I'll buy my own version, and that way I can read it at my leisure. I'm gonna take a minute and drink my banana strawberry smoothie and sip my coffee while I take you around the square to around about books. I've taken you there millions of times in vlogs. It's just the coziest, loveliest atmosphere, and I have no guarantee that I'll find any of the books on my list, but you never know. We'll see, and it never hurts to ask. I may ask first before I go searching. I took a photo of the library books. The library has this beautiful, I think, a kind of rose bush. This is gorgeous. I obviously had to take a picture. Look at that. Look how gorgeous that turned out. I wanted to take a picture with me in the rose bush. Not in the rose bush, but next to the rose bush with the books in hand. And I just, there was nowhere to prop my camera to do it, sadly. Oh, that's really sad because I would totally do it. <laughs> Oh well, maybe I can figure out a thumbnail at the bookstore. Not that they have flowers, but maybe they have a nice background. Oh, I 
can see they're starting to decorate. So we have something called the Strawberry Festival every year, and for the past two years it's been canceled because of the state of the world. This year is the first year they're making a comeback, and I'm so excited. The whole town gets involved, small shops open their doors for longer, and it's just such a fun time. It's like a fairground, but in a town square. That's coming up in a couple of days, I think. So I'll definitely vlog that. Found a parking spot right next to the bookstore, so we don't have to walk far at all. I think this is two hour parking, so we've got plenty of time to browse, no need to rush, love that. So yeah, let's go browse some books. he did have a week ago but it's gone now. I guess that just means I'm gonna browse and see what I find. ago, quite a few years ago when I was in college, and it's a website that some guy made where people can send in postcards and they can decorate the postcards however they want and send him their secrets anonymously. And the concept took off, so much so that he has an entire room stacked to the ceiling with just strangers postcards, and he turned his favorite ones into books. This is called The Secret Lives of Men and Women, compiled by Frank Warren. If you go to postsecret.com, you'll find them. I mean, some of the secrets are very heavy or inappropriate. You know, you take everything with a grain of salt. But sometimes there are sweet ones where they tell a secret like, I've loved this woman for my entire life, and tonight's the night I'm going to ask her to marry me. I hope she says yes. And then in the comments underneath the postcard, someone will be like, did anyone find out if it happened? And the person will comment and said, she said yes. You know, it's just cute things like that. It's, it's a really interesting way to bring people together. Depending on how much this is, I might pick this up. $10. Okay. I can do $10. That's worth it. Okay. I found my purchase. I didn't want to leave without buying something. timing. It just started raining. <laughs> made it to my car before it started downpouring. I didn't find anything on my list, sad to say, but I did find something that was on my list 10 years ago. This book. I showed it to you already. The Post Secret book. I wanted this in college and I just never bought it. And I thought as soon as I saw it, if I don't get it now, when am I gonna? So <laughs> I have it now. College Cassie would be very pleased. But now it's time to go home, see if I can beat this weather. Although, in the corner there, I'll show you in a second, there is blue sky. I'm under the darkest of clouds right now, but right over there is blue sky. So maybe it's gonna sunny up here for the end of the day. All the rain, all the gray skies. Over here, blue. pouring 
down rain and I ran to the mailbox and got soaked. <laughs> but it was worth it because my new glasses came. They're nothing exciting. It's the same pair I have right now. But my current ones, you probably can't even tell, but they are so scratched up. These have gone through car accidents, children, falling behind the couch, slipping off my head, so many, so many mishaps. These poor glasses have gone through and it is finally time to retire them. So we'll put those here. And we'll open up the new pair. I get mine from Zenny Optical. They're so much cheaper and they have way more choice than my eye doctor does. Oh my word, they look so nice. It's going to look so clear looking through these because my old ones are so scratched that it almost looks fogged over permanently. I'm just used to it now, but I have a feeling when I put these on, oh, I can already see they look so clear. So happy. Okay, ready? So excited. Whoa, that is such a difference. Oh my word. I didn't realize how... I'm gonna have to show you. See how it looks dirty, like I just need to clean them? No, that's permanent. That's just age and use. That's what I was looking through this whole time. I love them. I love that I can see <laughs> more than anything else. I'll probably keep these just on the off chance that I need an emergency pair because I can't drive without them. So I'll just keep those in a Ziploc safe. Heck yeah, I can see again. It's really the little things in life. <laughs> Going to a bookshop, working on your own book, being able to see, you know. All right, about to make a mad dash through the rain. Let's see if I can do this without getting soaked. All right, just made myself some dinner. I tried to take the bottom bun off the burger and it just wouldn't come off. So I did halfway keto. I took the top part of the bun off. The bottom one was a lost cause. Couldn't, could not get it off. With just some strawberries, I thought I would wrap up this vlog with a little peek through the secret book. I have not really looked through it other than just browsing it slightly at the bookstore itself, but I didn't really take anything in. So I thought it could be fun to show you just a couple from the book, and maybe that'll explain why I liked it so much in college. Here's this one. It says, he scares me when we go fast, but I don't want to tell him. I want him to think I'm fearless like he is. I feel like we all want to be perceived as a whole lot more courageous than we are. I totally get that. Aw, there's one here with a little kitty. It says, growing up you accepted me unconditionally when others didn't. I miss you, old friend. I loved having a pet. I totally understand. Pets are just a little slice of heaven, I think. <laughs> I like this one. I write fake notes on my desk calendar for my employees to find just to see how fast the news spreads. <laughs> you know, that is a really interesting test. I know some people who spread false gossip just to see how fast it would get around. It's kind of scary how quickly the rumor mill churns out gossip. Every day on my way to work, I contemplate driving past it and never coming back. Ooh, I've definitely been there at old jobs. I found out that the stone on my engagement ring is fake. My husband doesn't know it was in his family. I can't tell him because he'd feel awful. Now I feel like everyone who knows anything about jewelry is staring at this plastic rock. And because it's my engagement ring, I have to wear it every single day. <laughs> Do you know though, I don't actually care if a ring has a real diamond in it. I don't know. I just have never been fussed about it. If it's cheaper to have, oh, what's it called? It, it, it's it's not crystal, but it looks just like crystal, except the, the only way you can tell a difference is under a microscope. I would be fine with having a ring like that. It's a fraction of the cost, and it looks just as beautiful. As long as it's durable and doesn't shatter or get scratched easily, I don't care what the ring is made of. And I think there's something to be said about using a cheaper substance to make a bigger stone. Because honestly, the size of the stone is what's most impressive anyway to most people. If I found out that my ring was made of plastic, especially if the guy didn't know, I wouldn't be that bothered. As long as it was chosen with care and with a lot of thoughtfulness, I don't care what the ring's made of. 
as long as it lasts a lifetime, it looks pretty. Well, I think I'll leave the secrets there. It kind of gives you an idea of what the book is about and what it has in it. Again, I would definitely make sure you are prepared for not so nice secrets because those are in there too. But I really had fun these last few days. It's been so nice to just live in a world of books, whether it's mine or someone else's. It's just... I don't know, it's been nice. It's been a really long time since I've fallen back in love with reading books. I've never not loved books, but I think I just hadn't found any that really grabbed me. And so I just wasn't bothered with trying to make time to read. And the excuse of not having time to read definitely played a part. Because if I have a spare minute, I'm usually on Instagram or YouTube, and then I blink and an hour has passed. But especially over the summer, I really want to to manage my time better. I have to if I want to get my book finished, but I also notice how much better I feel when I haven't consumed social media for long periods of time. I'm not against social media. I don't think it's an evil monster that we should all avoid, but I do think that it can mess with your head, especially if you are feeling like your life is less than or if you were easily made jealous by someone else's highlight reel. I'm usually pretty good about understanding that it's not real life. It's just a moment in someone else's life. It's not like their life looks like an Instagram photo the whole time. But when you feel a little bit low and you are craving a vacation for instance and then you go on Instagram and you see everybody's vacation or you go on YouTube and you watch all these people's travel vlogs it really is emotionally draining because the whole time as much as you like the creator or appreciate the beauty that they're capturing a little slice of you is kind of like oh man I wish I was there <laughs> man, I wish I could afford to do that. There's a little sliver of discontent that can be exaggerated when we consume that kind of stuff a lot. So as I'm pulling away from social media, just a little, not a lot, I want to dip into books to engage your brain and your imagination than to consume something that takes the place of imagination. I have that same opinion when it comes to children. When I have my own kids, I'm not anti-TV or anti-iPads, but they will be very, 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 very limited on how much they consume because I know how I grew up and we did not have a lot of TV time. We played outside. We played pretend. When we grew out of naps, we had quiet time where we stayed in our room and played solo. And it fostered really extensive imagination in both my brother and I. And if you were to ask me what my favorite thing about myself is, it wouldn't be a physical feature. It would be my imagination. That's always been my answer is my favorite thing about me is my imagination. And I see so many children being raised in homes that consist of 90% screen time. And I can see the difference in how they play, in how they speak, in how they behave, and the staggering lack of imagination and ease of boredom is shocking. If a child is constantly saying, I'm bored, I don't know what to do, they've probably not been made to learn how to entertain themselves without the help of something exterior like a TV screen. And I was always that kid that was easily sucked into a television without even trying. I wouldn't even necessarily like what was playing, but my brain just would go whoosh and it was tunnel vision instantly. I'm still that way. Thankfully, as an adult, I have the ability to control it better, but that's why when I go on Instagram or YouTube, an hour passes and I haven't noticed because I still have that capability of getting sucked in for a little too long. So to sort of taper that, I want to delve into books more, as well as editing my own book. My food is getting cold. I haven't taken a single bite and it's probably as cold now. So I think that is a sign that I need to leave the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me these past couple days. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know in the comments if you're enjoying a little more bookish content and what you'd like to see throughout the summer. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you never miss a future video from me. I upload on Wednesdays and Saturdays, both at 6 a.m., and I'd love for you to become a part of this little online family. My goal is to get a thousand subscribers, which would allow me to get monetized. My dream, that would be amazing. So if you'd like to help that endeavor, please make sure to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Love you guys. Mwah.